when old red blood cells are broken down in the liver. Heme from hemoglobin is converted into bilirubin, which is then excreted in bile. This normally would pass through bile ducts and enter the small intestine and be excreted in feces. However, if liver cells are damaged, then this can enter the blood and thus be filtered at the kidneys. So a positive test for bilirubin in urine is typically an indication of some type of liver disease. The presence of nitrites in urine is typically the sign of an infection, and these nitrites are released by bacteria. White blood cells are not passed through the filtration membrane. If they are present in urine, this is due to the migration of white blood cells to the site of an infection. Urinary tract infections, or UTIs, are more common in women. Epithelial cells undergo a rapid rate of division, and therefore they can be sloughed off into urine and present in a urine sample. Transitional epithelial cells may have been lost from the lining of the bladder or portions of the ureters, while squamous epithelial cells can result from the stratified squamous epithelial lining the urethra. These are normal constituents and are not indicative of any disorder. Of course, urea is present in urine. The urinary system's main function is to remove this nitrogenous waste. Urea is produced when amino acids are degraded for energy, and the ammonia which would otherwise result is converted to the less toxic form of urea. So urea is filtered from the blood and excreted in the urine.